Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you will need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And I am doing a same day special for you guys. It is a three question recorded video reading for $25. And you will receive that reading within 24 hours from purchase. Everything you need to know, if you're interested, is posted on the community page for you. And I do want you guys, I at least want to tell you about it. I'd like you to go check her out, but I'm just going to at least tell you about it. You guys decide what you want to do from there. But I want you to check out uh, Shared Sentience Tarot. I, she has become my favorite, okay? It is my favorite channel. I love her general readings. She does so many different topics. And not only are her readings just very short, sweet, to the point, she packs a lot of information in those readings. Um, they're also just, she does so many of them, so there's constant content from her. It's all very different, different topics, and she's just an amazing person, you guys. Her energy is phenomenal. I know you guys are going to love her as much as I do, so I'm going to put a link to her comment in the pinned I'm going to put a link to her channel in the pinned comment if you guys want to check her out okay um, but let's go ahead Aquarius and see what is coming towards you next in love we have the five of cups for their feelings their intentions we have the two of swords their next actions and behaviors we have the king of swords the challenge between the two of you we have the Ace of Swords and the potential outcome. We have the Strength. We have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What's going on here, Aquarius? This is heavy. You know, I do feel like somebody's very upset about you and I definitely feel like the next person that's coming towards you is a past person here. Absolutely. This is somebody who's still very, very upset um, about whatever happened between the two of you. Okay. They could feel very rejected by you for some with this Four of Cups energy here. Or if they were the ones that kind of rejected you or didn't open up to you, um, you know, they could be regretting that and being very upset about that right now. But they're definitely upset. Okay. They're very, very upset. Um, five of Cups for their feelings, feeling sadness, regret, disappointment, grief. We have this two of swords. I kind of feel like somebody here has been indecisive for a while. Like, should I reach out and say something? Should I, or should I not? You know, should I reach out to Aquarius? Should I not? I kind of get this energy of like typing out the text and then like deleting it, Tech, you know, typing it out and deleting it, like that kind of thing. Someone's really struggling to uh, make a decision about whether they want to, you know, communicate their feelings to you or not. We have this Ace of Swords as well as the challenge. Ace of Swords can really talk about a lack of clarity. It can talk about having questions, um, you know, kind of truth-seeking energy. It's like somebody doesn't know, you know, if you're going to... I feel like there's a lot here. It's like someone doesn't know if you're willing to give them another chance, if you want to hear from them. Um, you know, they don't know where you're at with things. I don't know how you're going to respond. That Four of Cups can definitely talk about a fear of rejection too. So I definitely feel like somebody is almost like afraid to reach out because they're just not sure how it's, like, are you even going to respond? You know, it's a definitely, um, you know, someone's very, very afraid of it here. Now, I do feel like somebody is going to do it though. I mean, for multiple reasons here, we have this King of Swords energy as the potential outcome or as their next action. The King of Swords can be a card of, facing a situation head on. And I feel that here. I do feel like somebody is getting ready to face a situation head on. Don't mind the noise in the background. I'm sorry. It's just my cats. Um, but the King of Swords, he's the only court card that faces you directly. So I do feel like somebody is like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to face it. Even here, he's got this bird on his arm here. Like he's getting ready to send it out. And in the tarot, I do see birds as messengers. So I definitely feel like somebody is getting, they are going to send this message out um, and just face it head on. They don't, they know that there's a good chance that you may not respond or that they may get rejected, but they're definitely going to end up shooting their shot here, especially with that strength card. The strength card, you know, it's finding the courage and strength to say what they need to say to do what needs to be done here. So let's see what signs I have for you. I see Cancer, I see Gemini, I see Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. This reading can definitely still resonate for you. 
even if I did not mention the sign, okay? Just because I didn't mention the sign of the person that you're dealing with doesn't mean that this reading can't resonate for you, okay? So like I said, I definitely feel like somebody's very upset about you. They're down bad, and I feel like they've been thinking about this for a while. Aquarius, they've been wanting to reach out and say this to you for a while, um, but I feel like they've been holding back here, and now I feel like somebody's finally just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to say what I need to say. I'm going to see where I stand, and I'm going to just see what happens, so... Kind of prepare yourself for this. Know that it wasn't an easy thing for them to do here. Um, but that is what I have for you, Aquarius. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.